Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. And today's shout out goes to McLaren Craze 7373. McLaren Craze was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and this one's a shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have something really interesting for you today, folks. Well, it's uh, September 2023. It's past September 16th, 2023. And what does that mean? That means those of you out there that have these drones that weigh more than 250 grams and airplanes also that weigh more than 250 grams are going to need to utilize um, remote ID, okay, if you wish to fly uh, out there. Okay. Uh, right now, you know, the rules are that if you are flying a drone or an airplane, RC airplane, that weighs more than 250 grams, first off, you need to be registered with the FAA, a $5 registration fee. Now, let me put a caveat there. Uh, what I'm talking about here is for recreational flyers, folks. Uh, most of my viewers are beginner pilots. They're nearly all recreational pilots. You do not need a Part 107 unless you're a commercial flyer. And again, most of, nearly everybody uh, that uh, in my that are fans of me or view or subscribe to my channel, let's put it that way, are beginner pilots. Okay, that's the focus of my channel for beginner pilots. And as such, most beginner pilots, nearly all beginner pilots, are not commercial pilots. They do not need that Part 107 um, registration. Uh, to fly, okay? You can fly as a rec recreational pilot. And to do as a recreational pilot, if you do have these uh, larger than uh, 250 grams, you need to be registered with the FAA. And then all it takes is $5 and five minutes, you know, a credit card with $5 and five minutes on the FAA's website. In fact, I'll include the links down below where you, you can register both uh, yourself and uh, this remote ID module. And we'll get into that here shortly. Now, this remote ID module is compliant with the US FAA Declaration of Compliance. Um, it should transmit all the needed information to the FAA when, when it's activated. Recently, I did a review that I was going to review this remote ID module with the HS600, but uh, Holy Stone just recently sent me, this is the HS720R that I'll be uh, reviewing in the near future, and we'll demonstrate the remote ID with this particular drone when we go fly it. But let's remove it right now from the drone. It's just held on by Velcro, folks, to these drones. By the way, there are specific locations where you need to install this uh, drone on those drones that I mentioned so that you avoid the uh, drone's GPS antenna. You do not want to install this over the top of the GPS antenna. For the uh, 720R, and this is 720R, I believe this GPS antenna is right here. I'll include a little map that uh, Holy Stone uh, put out we're the proper places to install these uh, modules to avoid blocking the GPS module of your drone. <laughs> you don't want to do that or else you'll have a hard time getting a GPS lock on. But this is the module here itself. Tiny little thing, isn't it? Um, but it's very easy to set up. It only weighs about 14 grams, folks. Very lightweight. It has an internal rechargeable battery that will power this for up to uh, five hours. Um, it is charged via this little... USB-C port right there, um, type USB-C. Um, it's a very easy setup. It uses the Drone To Go app, or Drone Go To app, available on Play and on the App Store. And um, before proceeding with setup, you need to first register yourself with the FAA. Um, again, that you need that $5 in five minutes. Um, I'll include the link down below. But once you get registered with the FAA, um, well, the next thing you need to do is register this device, okay? After you cre created an account and paid your $5 registration fee, you need to log on again with the FAA and register the module. And it's pretty simple. You'll see it the same place that you register yourself. <laughs> They'll have the module registration too. Uh, but the setup for this is very simple, okay? Once you've got it, uh, once you've registered this, uh, you need to download and install the... Um, Drone Go To app available in Play and iTunes. I mentioned that before, and then you turn on your phone's Bluetooth. Okay, in the Bluetooth, then you turn on the art this remote ID module by pressing and holding this button down for two seconds. Once you have the Bluetooth turned on your phone and on on your phone. Right now, this is uh, actually getting ready, and now it's transmitting to the FAA. But I'm not connected to the drone, so there's the information that's going to the FAA is uh, kind of useless. 
And I'm going to talk about that here shortly after we're done showing the setup of this. But uh, on the R, okay, we turn on the RI remote ID module. We open the drone uh, go to app, and then we click on add device in the app. Okay, then the app will search for the module using Bluetooth. Once it finds the module, it'll list it. When you see it listed, select the module by clicking on it. Now you might need to click on it on that um, app several times to before it will actually connect to this module. But once it connects to the module, uh, you simply input your FAA drone registration number along with, uh, um, let's see, the FAA registration number, also along with the Holy Stone drone that you wish to use with this particular module. After that, the app will automatically populate the remaining boxes on, in the app uh, for registration. And then you click on save, and that's it. Then you turn off the module. And then the next time you turn on, and a succeeding time that you turn on the module, it will first do an initial, initialization, where it will blink uh, rapidly, and then it will connect to the drone during that initialization. Right now the drone is turned off, and then it will start transmitting, like right now it is starting to transmit. But it's transmitting nonsense because we're not connected to the drone. When it connects to the drone, it will be uh, transmitting the drone's location, along with altitude, speed, you know, flight parameters that are important to the FAA. But as you've seen, it's real simple to set up, uh, real simple to use. You know, just Velcro it onto your drone. And when you go flying, turn it on, turn on your drone, turn on the module. It'll automatically connect and start transmitting. Now, I mentioned it'll start transmitting. But who's it transmitting to? <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm not sure the FAA has... Um, the capability of receiving all of these across the nation, okay? Um, additionally, there's another issue. Um, you know, uh, if you want to fly a 250-gram drone, but you don't want to use this module, you know, use one of these uh, RID modules, you need to fly at a compliance site, or a, a uh, F, FAA, uh, uh, UAS compliance site that uh, initially, that allows you to fly. Most of them are uh, flying clubs for uh, airplanes, and drones <laughs> but uh, right now there are very few across the country that are uh, officially registered with the FAA because of that until more sites pop are populated across the USA where you can fly these drones legally without using the remote ID module um, the FAA is really uh, uh, will give you a lot of slack until March 2024 by that point time, that's when they're saying they're really going to crack down on those that are flying outside of those sites without remote ID. So you really might be able to get away with March 24. But again, they're, they're saying they're, they'll be looking at it at a case-by-case -case basis until that time. So I really don't expect them to be um, cracking down big time on people flying without remote ID until that time period. But I would recommend, recommend you getting one of these if you do have one of these drones and wish to fly and, and stay compliant without being hassled by the FAA. So, so that is the remote ID module from Holy Stone. A pretty neat little gadget, actually. Simple to set up, very lightweight. Uh, I got serial number covered here because I'm on the Internet right now. But uh, very easy to set up, uh, very easy to use. Uh, once you set it up, all you got to do is turn it on, and it starts transmitting. It connects to your drone automatically. It starts transmitting the information. So... Again, that's the Holy Stone Remote ID Module. Hope you enjoyed this review. Um, keep an eye out. Uh, again, I will be reviewing this particular drone, HS720R, in the very near future with this Remote ID Module attached. So, hope you enjoy that flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.